Hello dog lovers, welcome to Dog TV Kenya, the best documentary uh, channel for all dog lovers. Uh, my name is Matthias Philip from Dogmasters Kennel Nairobi. Uh, welcome, uh, I show whatever we have in our kennel. Uh, my, my, our kennel name is Dogmasters Nairobi and we are located in uh, Ongatarongai, uh, the other side of Nairobi. Then uh, we have several breeds in our kennel, that is uh, we have uh, German Shepherds, both long coats and short coats. We also have uh, Black Shepherds, German Shepherds, we also have uh, Rottweilers, we have Dobermans, we have Boabels and uh, the other smaller breeds, that is Maltese and the Japanese Spitz. So we have uh, several activities which are which we do on a daily basis. We provide uh, dog boarding services. We pro we do dog breeding. We do dog uh, hire for security purposes. We also provide uh, dog stud services for all the breeds we have in our kennel. And uh, I will take you through the programs which we do during in a normal day. The dog lovers, we have several activities which we happens here in our kennel every day so most of the m the most important program is the feeding program which we have uh, two feeding programs in our kennel so we have the mature dogs and also the the younger the younger puppies which are below six months so for for the for the feeding we do twi we, we do it twice in a day for the big dogs we feed them in the morning hours between nine and ten so our food is always ready in the evening or very early in the morning. So before 10, the food is always ready for feeding. So we have the, the younger puppies feeding first in the morning, then now feeding the bigger ones. Then in the evening, we repeat the younger puppies with another meal in the evening. So we feed them twice in a day. But now in, in the cases where we have uh, smaller puppies like between four weeks and eight weeks, now that time we do three programs of feeding. That is for the young puppies only. We feed our dogs uh, depending also, if they are puppies, we have the specific feeds we, we, we feed. After, they are, after six months, we change to certain feeds. After now they are mature, we, we return them to our main program for feeding. So what happens like for puppies, uh, puppies we've, we are feeding, uh, right now we are feeding meat and uh, the cables, the dry food. So we soak them with the meat. Then now when they are, they, they are ready to serve, we serve them. The mature dogs, we are giving them uh, the, the cables, which is now the dry food, plus the bony meat. And sometimes we do chicken meat. So we feed them depending. Plus also now it depends with also the feed which is available. Because sometimes the food for the dogs, sometimes it has some challenges in the market. But currently we are feeding dog rice, uh, Weetabix, meat, and the dry feeds, which is the uh, cables. Way back we had another model of kennel, but nowadays we have changed our kennel to the new designs. So our kennels are raised. We have made the modern kennel, raised kennels. So we, it's easier for when you when you are doing the cleaning and also the fumigations so we wash our dogs like twice per week sometimes we do grooming in a week then the cleaning the thorough cleaning we do it like twice a month but what happens you know when you have uh, the new modern raised kennels it's easier to do the cleaning and also the pest control so anytime we are doing the dog washing we also do kennel fumigation with the pesticides uh, some of the pesticides we, we have around so we do it like twice a month. That is the thorough cleaning for the dogs. That is fully body washing and grooming the dogs. Then also doing the kennel thorough fumigation and fleece uh, fumigating. Uh, yes, we have vet. Uh, we have our own kennel vet. So we have uh, a vet around, especially when we have young puppies. Currently, we don't have very small puppies. We have puppies above above four months. But we have uh, our own vet who comes, especially when we have young puppies. But now, depending with the dogs, you know, people, several people have several breeding, uh, uh, the vaccination programs. So, but our, in our kennel, we do Pavo, Pavo, DHLP, then Rabies. Uh, other people do uh, Pavo, DHLP, then Rabies. So, what happens when we have young puppies here, when they are born at uh, four to six weeks, most probably the fifth week we do first vaccination, which is uh, 
uh, Pavo, and we have our own vet who come and uh, who does the the fully vaccination for the puppies. Then after they are eight, eight, uh, after after the eighth week, we do the second vaccination. Then the twelfth week, we do the third vaccination, which is now Pavo Pavo DHLP. Then most of the people buy the puppies between three months, which is the twelfth week, and now maybe from from there then above or below six months so most of the people who find our puppies not yet vaccinated with the rabies they do it now with their own vet uh, after they have collected their puppy it's uh, but now the puppies which hit a uh, six months in our kennel then now we do the rabies vaccination so we have our own program for vaccination and we have a specific vet who does the vaccinations so all our main dogs which you can see here around they are all fully trained uh, mostly on basic obedience that is the call name come sit stay in wait when you are it becomes it, it makes it it makes it easy uh, to give the dogs commands every time you need to to, to to instruct the dog to do something or also to control the pack because we have almost 20 dogs around it's it becomes easy to control the pack especially when you are feeding the dogs or maybe someone visits and wants to see the puppies so there are no a lot of commotions so what we have done we have trained all our main breeding and the main garden dogs in our compound so it becomes easy to avoid a lot of fights in the kennels and also to make sure the dogs they are not uh, colluding especially when some of them are on heat and now the other the dominant males want to maybe dominate males so what we do we socialize the the, the main the main uh, dogs which are in the kennel there are some older dogs in the kennel which have been here for more than five years so we have uh, grown them with the younger males so when they have been growing we have been taking them for walks together and also when we are feeding them sometimes we feed the younger dogs first then now we let the bigger ones now come and we also let them uh, get to understand the younger ones so we also do that dog socialization and also we have also trainers who come to our compound to to do the dog socialization and training so that uh, we can have, we, we can reduce the fights because they are since we have a lot of males in our kennel there are sometimes there are a lot of fights when there are females which are on heat because now the dominant males maybe we don't want to breed that male the specific male with a specific female and that time uh, now that female is on heat now and they are, the, the, the the dominant males want to 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 mate with that female so they have to fight the young the young males we are trying to mate with the female so we try as much as possible to socialize the dogs we have uh, several services we offer majorly we do dog breeding for the major breeds we are having here so we are also offering uh, stud services we do dog grooming in dog grooming you know we have clients which come here for they bring do their dogs here for grooming so we groom them then they take them away uh, they go back with the dogs then we also have uh, clients who give us out calls we come to your kennel we also do grooming uh, on appointments so we, that one is uh, lies under the category of uh, dog grooming then we also provide the uh, stud services in our kennel we have uh, we have uh, german shepherds both long coats and short coats we have king shepherds long coats and short coats uh, then we also have the black shepherds so in those breeds we also have males which are specifically for giving studs so what happens if you are out there and maybe you don't have a, a male for providing studs to your females we offer that service we have uh, that breed those the, the, the german shepherd breeds then we also have uh, rotwellers german rotwellers uh, currently is not available in the compound but we have uh, hired him for security purposes but we also give him for stud services we also have a uh, doberman pincer uh, currently we have some puppies also for from our last breeding then we also have a boabel we currently we have a solid black boabel male which is available for stud services every time so we have several breeds which we offer stud services so the other service is uh, security now when it comes to security we also have our most of our bigger the, the breeds you can see around 
there are specific males which we have trained both a basic obedience and aggression and guard works so there are security guys who come and hire our dogs for security services uh, during maybe the when people have events maybe you also want to, uh, you are working with a company and you want to list some dogs for security so we also provide that service uh, the other part is now the breeding now that one we have our kennels here we have some puppies even for german shepherd dobermans bobbles they are available so those ones are our, our breeding program they are our uh, they are under our breeding program so uh, currently like five breeds but uh, we are working also on our expanding our kennel we are also working uh, on uh, bringing some uh, some other breeds you know when you are a breeder there are specific things which now push you towards uh, adding more breeds especially the clients because now different clients have specific uh, breeds they are looking for now since we are a kennel and now we have to have maybe a, a wider variety for the dogs so that now every every time someone visits and is looking for a dog we can have a bigger variety that's why we are working now on uh, adding other other breeds in the kennel. So we are working on uh, adding uh, spaniels, which is the English uh, spaniels, also cocker spaniels. We are also working towards uh, adding some uh, husky and the uh, Alaskan malamutes. So in future, maybe in the next uh, six to one six months to one year, we might have uh, several breeds will be added in our kennels. So we are working towards that. so in dog breeding there are several challenges number one is uh, now finances every dog here consumes finances every day uh, because the dogs are the, we, we have we have the man the, the, the manpower which is now people who are working for the dogs every day we are also having uh, medicines and food which is being bought every day for the dogs so we have finances challenge sometimes but we have planned our kennel well any times we have finances coming in from now the dogs which are on hire or people have paid for stud services or when we are uh, selling off our puppies then we plan our kennel in a way that we have maybe a food program for a full month or for three to four weeks ahead because now in where we are there are specific suppliers for the foods we are we are using in our kennel maybe the other challenge is uh, diseases but now since you as you can see our kennels are well built we have uh, advanced our kennels to the modern raised kennels so we are able now to control the, the, the ticks and fleas which now bring maybe some infection on the dogs when they bite the dogs so we have uh, at least worked on the the, the pest control but sometimes it becomes a challenge maybe people someone brings a dog in our kennel for start services and maybe the dog comes some fleas and ticks now they sometimes they transit to the to our dogs but now what happens we have also our separate kennels for uh, mating dogs which now they are bred uh, they brought for start services so maybe the other challenge we have in our kennel is uh, dog fighting because we have a lot of dominant males around we have the king shepherd which is a dominant male we have a rotuela which is a very dominant male we also have a, the solid black boabel which is a very dominant male also so whenever there is a they are all around and they are not out for work and now we have a female which has come for breeding then they tend to fight because uh, as you know there are no boundaries. A rotuela can meet a shepherd, a shepherd can meet a rotuela, so they don't have boundaries. So now also that one becomes a challenge, but we have tried to make uh, enough kennels for the dogs. So anytime there are dogs which are mating or there are dogs on heat, then now we try to separate and isolate the, the, the dominant males. Yeah. We have uh, a trainer who trained us last time. We had a, a serious, a serious, several serious fights in our kennel where some of our dogs ended up killing others. So from then we try, we try to socialize the, the, the most dominant males. But in case there are breakouts and fights, we try to hold the, 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 the dominant male from the younger one so that it doesn't kill the other one. But sometimes people advise to you pour water on the, the dogs when they are fighting. But uh, sometimes it doesn't work, sometimes it works. But what 
what is most important ensure your dogs have collars anytime they are out or anytime they are on, on walks or maybe don't let them play, let go loose because when they start fighting it becomes very uh, very difficult to handle them so when they are fighting and they have the collars and the chalk chains then it's easy to control them and stop the fight uh, number one owning a dog i would advise the upcoming uh, dog lovers and maybe dog breeders who want to breed dogs in future number one it has to start with passion you have to have the passion in dogs then now from there you can now embrace on the breeds you like then from there now you can advance slowly because it entails finances but it is a it is a good experience number one dogs have a lot of advantages they have the social advantage they have the finances uh, the financial advantage and also the security advantage so they come with a lot of uh, advantages more than the uh, disadvantages so if you are a dog lover out there and you would also want to breed dogs and also maybe you want to breed or own a dog i would want also to encourage you to come in the in the field for the dogs so it's it's widely open so in our kennel we have uh, several breed that we said this is uh, this is our our boy louis louis is a uh, a solid black South African Boabel is available for start services every time. And uh, yes, currently we, we had a litter from him and our female uh, Kathy, which is not available right now because we have taken her for start services at our another kennel. So uh, Louis has had 11 boys, 11 puppies, six were boys, five, uh, five were females. Then now uh, we also have uh, other puppies which are out in other kennels where we have uh, served other females. So in our next kennel, we have uh, the German Shepherd. Then we have Panda. Panda is our solid black German Shepherd. Uh, he's a long coat uh, shoreline. Uh, this one is Puppy. Puppy is a female. Mother, the mother was a working line. The dad was a shoreline registered. Then uh, in the inside kennel, we have uh, Simba, which is our crossed uh, puppy boy, which was uh, from, a, he was from a, our, our Rottweiler. The Rottweiler gave birth with a German Shepherd. Then in this kennel, we have the Doberman Pinster puppies. These are our now the remaining puppies. We have uh, one female Shepherd available for the homie. We also have uh, the two Dobermans, one female and uh, one male, which are also available for the homie. Then we have other dogs around. This one is a Max. Maxi is the dad to the small uh, female there. Then is the dad. The mom is a Roxy, which is around. The, 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 the mother to, to the other uh, female there. So this is Max. Max is our stud, our stud male. This is a long coat uh, male. Long coat German Shepherd. Uh, that is Roxy. This is our, also and our breeding program. The mother to the small uh, female we have. So this one is also a junior male. Junior Max is our also uh, Also puppy from our breeding, previous breeding programs. Then this is Kesa. Uh, Kesa is our monkey. We also have other uh, monkeys which is Bravo. They are not able to mingle with this one on this side. Now they are on the other side. So our contact number is uh, 0714 926 155. We have our main contact number which is uh, 0714926155 and our location is uh, Ongatarongai, Nairobi. We have our main kennel there. We also have our partner kennels which we are working with them when it comes to breeding and stud services. But our main kennel is at Ongatarongai, Nairobi. In case you are looking for grooming services, uh, dog boarding services, stud services, or any other related dog service you can contact anytime maybe we can advise or give the service related you are looking for okay so thank you so much guys for watching dog tv kenya the best documentary channel for all dog lovers and uh, welcome to dog masters nairobi kennel anytime for all your dog services and so uh, continue subscribing to dog tv kenya